Watch this video all the way to the end for the Dude Your Car winner announcement. Please give this video a thumbs up. For this prank, you're gonna make people think that you put a stick through your arm. Ah! Help! Help me! Please, sir! Oh, this is so cool. So you wanna know how to prank? Today, Evan and I are gonna show you a few magic tricks you can pull on your friends and family. All right, so here's what you'll need. You'll need some of this rubber cement called Craft Bond. Okay. Some fake blood. All right, your first step is to take some of this rubber cement and you're just gonna apply a thin layer of it on your arm and let it dry. All right, now that it's dry, you're gonna take your stick and you're gonna lay it right in the middle of your rubber cement patch. It's right there. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna start to fold the skin on your arm around that right over top of the skewer. Dude, it looks like it's sealed right up. Whoa, I got a stick in my arm, but how do we enhance it? Here's how we enhance it. We take some fake blood, a Q-tip, at uh, each of the wound sites, to the openings. You take some of this blood, run it down the stick. Ah! Oh, my arm, man. Somebody give me a doctor. Now you can try this at home. We don't have any on us right now, but get some petroleum jelly, maybe lube up your stick or whatever so you can try and slide it through your arm. Look at this. Uh, 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 uh. Super wicked. For this prank, you're gonna make your buddy think about the spill water in his face. Take some water, take your cup, start pouring yourself a drink. Make sure your buddy sees you pour it. Stand there for a second, talking. So when are you going back to uh, Cincinnati, bro? Uh, about 25 minutes. 25 minutes, okay. You're gonna be wet for your ride. Oh! oh. Whoa! How did you do that? <laughs> I'm gonna show you how it's done, and you, right now. All right, so all you need to do this prank are some sponges. Lots of sponges. Yeah. And you just stick your sponges inside the cup, let your buddy see you pour it, distract him with a question. He didn't see you take a sip, the sponges had time to absorb the water and wham! Right in the face and freak them out. Too easy. For this prank, we're gonna make people think you stabbed your eye out with a fork. Oh. Oh. Alright, here's how it's done. All you need is a fork and one of these coffee creamers. So you're gonna take your coffee creamer and you're gonna conceal it in your hand just like that. Hold it up to your eye and just jam the fork in it. Be careful you don't stab yourself in the eye though. Or the hand. Oh, dude, that's so gnarly. <laughs> that's awesome. They're gonna freak out and white eye juice is gonna go everywhere. That's such an easy one to pull. Perfect for Thanksgiving time on your friends and family. For this prank, we're gonna make your friend's money disappear into your wallet. I got a dollar. Perfect. All right. So I'm gonna take your dollar and I'm gonna stick it down in my hand just like this. All right. You can see it go inside. Yep. Now watch. Where did it go? It vanished. <laughs> it's magic. How did you do that? Very well. What? Well, <laughs> show them. Show them how it's done. All right. Here's the secret. You need one of these little plastic thumbs. Oh, nice. I've seen those. Mm-hmm. And basically all you do, take your dollar, you conceal the thumb in your hand, you stuff the dollar into it. So instead of the red handkerchief, you use a dollar. Use a dollar. So you stuff your thumb in there, you steal out the thumb tip, that goes in your pocket while they're focused over here. Yeah. Rub it and boom. It's gone. And what's the trick with the thumb? Which way do you have to point it? Uh, you want to make sure it's pointed towards your audience, like towards their face. Because if you see it like this, it's obvious that it's a fake thumb, but if you look at it like this, it's really hard to tell. And then you're also distracting by putting their attention on this yeah, hand the misdirections while over here. you slip your thumb back in your pocket. You got it. Too easy. For this prank, we're gonna make a balloon pop with the power of thought. The trick behind this prank is getting pure citrus air freshener spray and spraying it inside the cap. The oils are inside. You dip your finger in the oil and then it's like a accomplice thing, right? Kind of, yeah. So I can hold the balloon uh -huh. and you'd be like this, make it pop. And then Woo! For whatever reason, the oil, when it touches the balloon, creates the explosion. For this prank, we're gonna make a soda can that's empty, 
refill. Here's how it's done. All you need is a soda can, a thumbtack or a push pin, and a marker. One of these dry erase markers. Okay, so what's the first thing we do? First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna poke a tiny hole in the can. So then you're gonna start emptying a little bit of the soda out of the can, and at the same time you're gonna start squeezing your can so it looks like it's crushed. We take the marker and we're gonna color the tip so it makes it look like the illusion the can is open. At a glance, this totally looks like an empty soda can. Yes. All right, and that's your prep. So the prank is you find this empty can, maybe somebody just threw away a can, trash can, and you reach in and get it out. Like, hey, dude, this is still full. Why are you wasting? Why are you wasting soda? That's not full. I just threw that away. It's totally full. Watch. Wait, that's not full. That's in the trash. What are you doing? I'm resealing the top. Whoa. Watch. You're filling it back up. How you doing that, buddy? Look. Oh, you even have the pop. Wow, that's awesome. So check it out. What you're doing is you have that little hole that released the pressure. You still have a little bit of soda inside your can. And so when you wipe the blackness off, it's just marker and it looks like you're sealing the can back up. You put your thumb on the hole to create a pressure. You shake it up so the Coke makes the can expand. You pop it open, pop! And then you can pour out the Coke and it's totally freaking awesome. This prank is on a cigarette smoker. We're gonna turn their cigarette into a fireball. I'm gonna start by emptying out a bit of the tobacco. Empty out the tobacco of the cigarette so you can have room to tear off some of this flash paper into a little ball and put it inside. Okay, now you booby trapped your cigarette and it's filled back up with tobacco so the victim won't even have any idea. Let's see what it looks like when someone smokes it. Let me get you a light, brother. Whoa! <laughs> Careful, that's a dangerous prank to play on somebody, but it's totally awesome and worth a try. Practice fire safety, you don't want to get in any trouble. Prank at your own risk. So you can go, make sure you keep your elbows straight though. Okay. Okay, keep twisting. Oh! Going. I don't know. Is that all you got? <laughs> my Keep going. shoulder's gonna pop off. Look. Oh, dude. Uh, How are you doing that? Watch. Uh, oh. <laughs> what a trick. I want to show you how to do that prank right now. All right, so you go to put your hand down. You have them twisted all the way back. And when you come up to say, keep your elbows straight, you're coming back down in this position. So you'll see that the thumb, you're distracting them by paying attention to the elbow, and when they put their hand back, the thumbs are in the same direction. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to tell that anything changed. Misdirection. The misdirection. And then, when he twists the arm all the way back around, mm -hmm. you're like, how do you do that? And you just go, oh! oh. And that crunch is the solo cup in the underarm. Try it out on your friends and family, see how it goes. For this prank, we're gonna make rope go through your neck. Like literally, it's gonna go through your neck. How's it work, Evan? All right, so you take your piece of rope, string, tie this around the back of your neck. Let me see under your chin, make sure it's under there, okay. All right, tie it. Good? Yep. All right, and then you're gonna take both ends, and you're gonna yank them as hard as you can. No way. Ready? Yeah. Whoa, how do you do it? All right, here's how it's done. Take your rope, lay it across the front of your neck. Okay. And when you tell them you're tying it in a knot, you're not actually tying it in a knot. No way, let me see, turn around. You're just looping the two ends like this. Oh, okay. And springing the two pieces back over your shoulders. So it's not even in a knot. It's not even in a knot, and that's the entire trick. There you go. And then you yank on the two ends, and it comes straight through your neck. 